So this video is for those of you who are actually driving traffic to your website using Google Ads. You want to actually make sure that you are tracking your conversions. You know where your conversions are coming from and you can use that analytics to your advantage when optimizing your campaigns. Now this video is kindly sponsored by Okiano. I've done a video on Okiano before and if you are an e-commerce business then they actually allow you to create automated Google Ads for your website. So if your website is with Shopify or with WooCommerce or any of those uh, kind of e-commerce website building platforms, then you don't even have to worry about most of your ads. They kind of set up your ads for you. I'm totally in love with it. Um, and they actually have a really good offer for you. In the description down below, if you use my promo code, then you can actually get half price for the first three months using Okiano and they can automate your Google ads for you and start generating sales for you. And all you have to do is sit back, relax and watch the sales come in. But in this video, I want to kind of give you a tutorial for those of you who are using WooCommerce in terms of how you can actually install the conversion codes correctly on your website. So you're getting the right data back to your site. So as you can see, I'm actually in my Google Ads account at the moment. And the first thing you want to do is actually come up here to where it says tools and settings. And when you click on that, go underneath the measurement tab and click on conversions. Then it will take you to this page and we want to create a new conversion. So I'm going to click on this uh, blue button there and it takes me here where I can actually choose what conversion I would like to start tracking. So uh, you can choose app, you can choose phone calls, you can import, um, but the most of you will actually want to choose the website one to track your online sales and clicks and so on and so forth. Uh, now here you can actually just enter your details. I have done this video before for Shopify. So if you kind of want more of an in-depth tutorial about what these specific options mean, then I recommend watching my Shopify tutorial. I'll leave that in the description down below. It's more or less exactly the same as this, but obviously where you put your tags at the end is slightly different. Um, so basically you want to kind of just select your category. Most of you, it will be purchases that you want to actually track. Um, then you can give your purchase uh, conversions a name as well. This might be the product that it is that you're tracking just so that you know what is going on when you're actually looking in your conversions and you're not getting confused in terms of what product it is that is converting. Um, and then you can actually measure the impact of your advertising by giving a conversion value. So uh, you can use the same value for each conversion or you can use different values for each conversion. Uh, that basically depends on uh, the products that you're selling on your website. Are they different price points? Are they the same price point? That will depend on your options here. So I'm gonna click use the same one and I'm going to just put 10 here um, as if my product was 10 pounds. And then it's asking me, what do I count? So I do I count every conversion or one conversion. I'm gonna keep mine as every here. And then you have some uh, options here that you can utilize. And you know, I kind of would recommend keeping it at the default and then click create and continue. So here is where you can set up your tag and it has three options. You can install the tag yourself. You can email the tag to your webmaster. So if you don't actually have control of the back end of your website, that might be an option for you. Um, or you can use the Google Tag Manager. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the tag yourself. So when you click on that, it gives you two tags um, that you kind of need to be aware of. The first is your G tag or your global tag. Um, and this is basically a tag that needs to go on every page of your website. So you want to copy that and go back to your WordPress website. So once you go into your WordPress website, you want to go into appearances and then go to theme editor um, and it will take you inside here. And then you want to make sure that you're actually on the right theme. So whatever theme it is you're currently using, uh, make sure you select the appropriate theme there. And then you want to look for underneath uh, your theme options here, you should see theme header and you click on that and it will take you to the code section um, of that particular theme header. And you wanna look for where it says head here um, and then click next to it, enter so that you're actually pasting the code uh, on the, the line below it and paste your code in there. Um, and then you wanna actually scroll down 
and make sure you update your file. And that is basically where you enter your G code. So secondly, we actually want to go ahead and install a WooCommerce plugin. Um, so just for those of you who don't know, if you want to install a plugin, go down here in the uh, settings tab and click on plugins. And we want to install a plugin called WooCommerce Google Analytics Integration. So this is the name of the plugin. As you can see, I've already got it installed on my site. But if you haven't already got it installed, then literally go to add new plugin. And where it says keywords, you can actually paste that in there. So e-commerce, Google Analytics integration. Um, and then you want to look for this one by WooCommerce and in install that particular plugin. And then when you go underneath WooCommerce, you want to go into your settings. So once you've installed this plugin and activated it, as you can see, mine is active. Uh, go to WooCommerce and then go to your settings. Then you want to go over to here to where it says integration. So click on that integration and then you want to make sure you're in the Google Analytics tab so click on that and simply enter your Google Analytics ID so what you want to do then is go to your Google Analytics account and log in and then you want to go down here to admin and you will see account settings and underneath account settings you should see your account ID and you can copy that and then you can go back to uh, your, your app here, your WooCommerce app, and you can paste your ID in there. Um, and then it asks you to set your domain name. That's optional, so you don't have to put anything in there. But you want to make sure you enable all of these boxes here. Make sure all of them are clicked. And um, then once that is done, you can actually save changes. Now, once you've made these changes to your website, you might want to go ahead and install the Google Chrome Tag Assistant. This is a free uh, Google Chrome browser extension tool that you can actually utilize uh, to see whether or not the tags have been installed effectively on your website. Um, now, this might not necessarily always show you all of the tags that are supposed to be on your website. So obviously there's two tags, you've got the G tag um, and you've also got the event tag as well. So to test the event tag, you might actually have to manually go to the pages um, that you know you actually sell on so your product pages um, and then actually go to the code of those products pages and see whether or not the event snippet has actually been installed effectively but you should be able to start running your google ads and you should start seeing your conversions show up in your analytics um, and that's the greatest way to kind of see that your conversion tracking codes have been implemented effectively um, i really hope that this tutorial helped you out but if you do have any questions or come across any issues then do let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do my best to help you guys out but if this video was helpful to you uh, make sure you go and check out Okiano again if you sell some sort of e-commerce product then they can actually help you to automate and set up effective um, high converting Google ads for your e-commerce business um, I'll leave all of the information in the description down below so make sure you go and check them out I also have the formula guys this is the free guide to generating leads and sales online for your business a copy of it is behind me I'll also leave a copy in the description down below so make sure you go and grab yours free as well that's going to teach you the fundamentals to drive in leads and sales to your products and services online uh, but if this video was helpful then make sure you click the like button down below and share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you download the formula and i will see you soon